decentralization media. Welcome back to our tutorial series on Stellar and this is Mr. Z. Today we'll be looking at uh, payment transaction. And to begin, let's uh, get the key pair that we previously generated. The two key pairs that we generated in the testnet. And let's perform a transaction as a payment between these two accounts through Stellar. Uh, to begin this, let's go into Transaction Builder. So, like how we previously created an account, uh, this time we're going to be using the create uh, payment transaction, the payment operation. Alright, so to begin. Let's okay. Let's just uh, initially go to the endpoint explorer and have a look at single account and see the balance in each of them. So as you can see, the balance on the initial first account. And here's the balance on the second account that being 100. Let's make a transition from first to second. So, face the public key, we do fetch our sequence number from the Stellar Horizon network. And we have a base view of 100 units. We let be no 100 troops. And no memos, no time bound at the moment. Payment and destination is going to be the public key of the second account. And the asset type is native because we're going to be transferring stellar lumens. Let's transfer 100 lumens and this particular source account can be left blank because it's optional or else uh, it could be the same source account that you're using so we try we sign the transaction using the secret key of the sender and we post horizon testnet So as you can see the transaction was performed. This is the transaction hash. Uh, you can also have a look at the transaction. And it displays what kind of transaction that took place and to weave in detail about the transition you can uh, head towards the operations and have a look at the operation performed which was a payment operation and the from ID and to ID and on the truth the rumors and now let's go to the Receivers account and have a look at the um, fund received. So it has become 200 now from previous existing 100. And if you look at the senders account, 100 assets. So that is the payment transaction in uh, Stellar Laboratory. So let's have a look at how we can do the payment operation using the Go SDK. And I'll be pasting segments of code here and what we'll be doing is 
we'll be using the initial key pair and sending it to the second one just as we did earlier start off uh, let's have the send the credentials then uh, we have the receiver credentials now the reason I have to create the pass full and get the key pair is because uh, we need to sign a transaction using the entire key pair and it cannot just be a string then we call in the horizon client and set it to be testnet uh, taking it a step further let's uh, retrieve the user account and uh, check the user's account balance so in this particular line uh, we are checking the balance and as we know this account only has one type of asset so we only got the initial uh, index now for us to do the payment operation payment operation requires an asset type and for that we have to create a native asset because that's what we are going to be using if it's a custom asset we should be using it's called yeah so let's have we'll be looking at custom assets later on so here's the payment operation and we use the transaction builder and we have the destination as receiver public key amount as 100 lumens and the asset as the native asset now let's go ahead and build the transaction so when we're building the transaction we have our account here source account and then the operations they come in as an array of operations then we have the network which is set to testnet and with the latest SDK we are required to have time bounds in the transition build so new infinite timeout uh, so that it can be submitted whenever we need to now we sign the transition using the key pair and convert it to base64 Now moving forward to submitting the transaction, we submit the base64 into Stellar. We'll be expecting any Stellar Horizon based errors. So upon receiving the response, we'll be looking for the transaction hash this time and not the entire response body. Now when the operation is performed, we need to know whether it's done properly. So let's retrieve the account details and have a look at the balance at the end as well. Mm, so let's give this code a run. Starts off with native balance that much, and we have technically spent a hundred and hundred troops of base fees taken for each transaction. Oh, that is for each operation, my bad. A base fee of hundred troops for each operation. So we only had one operation, so a hundred was taken for that, and the operation included. 100 lumens on the other side. So, thank you very much, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give us a like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for notifications.
Decentralization Media.